Hey gang, happy Saturday. I'm reading a really good book and I thought I would really want to show you it. It's amazing. So right now I am currently into subconscious reprogramming, ultimate life design, things like that. I don't know who ever has read The Untethered Soul by Michael Singer. Great book but there's a sequel. It's not really a sequel. It's just another book of the same author called The Surrender Experiment. It is amazing. Usually, you know, we're trying so hard to make things happen in life that we want to make happen. Even a lot of people out there trying manifestation and law of attraction are not doing it in a way that's actually gonna work based on quantum physics, the laws of frequency, things like that. And so the surrender experiment really just talks about surrendering to how the flow of life really goes and still doing active things, but within that so that you can make things work for you in a way that is far, far less effort because either we we create with matter, so we can create matter using matter meaning we create in our lives only based on what is currently, or we can create using energy. And it is far more simple to create using energy and things tend to just flow to us then. So I will talk a lot about that. If you have any specific questions, let me know. But really there are three main reasons people suck at true manifestation or law of attraction. Number one, they don't understand frequency. And the laws of frequency dictate that like attracts like. Meaning, if you want to attract something into your life, you really have to match the frequency of that thing identically. And some people also have a misaligned view of what frequency really is, and it's not actually our thought. So there are people out there trying to create money, right? Like, I want money. And it's not actually money that they want. They're thinking they want money. No matter what we want in our lives, we only want that thing because of how we would feel if we have that thing. The end product of any experience, so the experience of having the car that we want if we're going to go material or meeting the soulmate or our health and wellness even, weight loss, whatever it is that we want in our lives. We only want that thing because of the experience we would have of having that thing. And the end product of any experience is an emotion. So as a really good example, I was coaching a woman recently and she said, I really, really, really just want money. I want money. And I said, okay, well, focusing on the money is actually going to produce a feeling of lack and the frequency that you want to match is the feeling. So if you're thinking of money and you're feeling lack, you're going to attract and produce more lack in your life, right? So what would you use the money for? And she said, oh, I know I would use the money to buy a house. So I should focus on the house then. And I said, no, the house is emotionally neutral as well. It's just like the money. It's neither here nor there. What is the experience you're wanting from owning this home? And she said, well, I just want to spend more quality time with my family. And it was her idea that if she had a home, she'd be able to spend more quality time with her family because she'd have a space to draw them into to spend quality time with, right? And so quality time with her family is actually what she's wanting. And I have always mentioned, like I did a TikTok about this very recently. Here's my TikTok if you want to go check it out. I'm constantly active over there. But I did a TikTok on how too many people are focusing on how. How am I going to make this happen, right? So she was so busy with two hows instead of focusing on what she actually Really, really wanted because we as humans, our brains are problem solving and solution focused mechanisms, right? We think that we need to really figure out how to make things happen. How is none of our business? Our logic is not there for trying to figure out how to make things happen. Our logic is there for figuring out what to do with the how when it comes to us, the how will come to us. So if she were to focus on the feeling and evoking the emotion within her of what it would feel like if that was her reality right now, because according to quantum physics, all we have is right now. There is no past. We only think there's a past because of our brain being able to recall previous nows that we've been through. There is no future. It doesn't exist yet. All there is is right now. So if she were to focus on the frequency, the emotion of what it would be like to spend that quality time with her family now, like what if that was her reality right now? Neuroscience says that we do not need to have an experience in order to feel the emotion. We can evoke the emotion from within ourselves. And somebody you might say, well, I've never had that experience before, so how would I know what it feels like emotionally? Well, you'd feel relief 
For one, no matter what the situation, you'll feel relief. And science has shown that emotion works really, really well. You'd feel gratitude. So we know how to feel relief. We know how to feel gratitude, right? And so sometimes being very specific doesn't work well for someone. Other times it works well. Depends how good your imagination is. Einstein even says things about imagination. So we have to match the frequency of that which we want identically. And the Surrender Experiment book talks about how to fall into life's flow and how life is naturally flowing. Surrender to that and then just match the frequency as you go along. And it's really, really amazing how that book goes. He shares his personal life experiences of his own surrendering to things and how that would go rather than we place so much on trying to predict the future. Your brain is literally not capable of prediction. The human brain cannot predict. It is only built on everything that's happened up until right now. So there's no prediction possible, right? But we still try so hard to predict and we get stuck there in a place we don't really wanna be because we can't predict a future based on only the past. A lot of people are feeling the same feelings, thinking the same thoughts as the day before. And so they're kind of overlaying their past onto the present, or they're looking at the future through the lens of the past, okay? We have the familiar past or the predictable future, and we're not really usually living right now. Anyway, I recommend that book to you. Like I said, it's a random Saturday, so I was reading. And it's time to water the plants. And a lot of people ask how I am so good at plant life because I have this. <laughs> I literally use this. This was on Amazon, it came in a pack of two, and it's brilliant. So you just put it into whatever plant, you're seeing if it needs water, and boop. So yeah, that's pretty dry. Can you even see that? It's pretty dry. It is the reason this fiddly fig that I was gifted is still even alive. Your plants will need different amounts of water at different times of the year. I am gonna go to the grocery store today though, so I will take you through a random grocery shop and show you the kinds of things that I buy on a random needs supplies day. So I'm gonna go ahead and water these guys and then I will bring you all to the grocery store where we can go through a healthy grocery shop. We are putting together these centerpieces. I'll obviously show you what they look like when it's all said and done. So I'll see ya in a little bit. <laughs> So how you tell is the squish test. If they're super hard, they're not ready. You can also tell by trying to pop that off. I just gently do it because someone else is gonna come here wanting to know, right? Sweet potato and regular potato are very good for weight loss, believe it or not, but you need to pair it with a healthy fat and or a complete protein to balance out the energy, the carbohydrate. Yellow potatoes have like a really nice buttery type of flavor, so they're my favorite to use in terms of potatoes that aren't sweet potatoes. Green bananas are healthier for you than the more ripe bananas. They have less sugar content and they're actually much better for your gut. This is my favorite unsweetened vanilla. When it comes to oat milk, be very careful because it's usually full of seed oils, which is completely unnecessary, but how else do you make oats into milk? When it comes to eggs, I've made videos about this before, always go for free range over free run. Free range means that the chickens are roaming around in a pasture where they should be eating what they should be because chickens are not meant to eat grains. Rolling. Diet pop, calorie free hola, but with no bad for you artificial sweeteners. When we're talking mac and cheese, I really recommend this guy. Awesome, awesome mac and cheese. And it is super healthy ingredients. And it's gluten-free and dairy-free. There we go. We're also getting this kind. <laughs> If you're gonna go healthy bar, I recommend RX bar because the only ingredients are right on the front. Just those things. These are cleanse friendly. RX bars are detox friendly as well. These are so good. They're soft baked. They're so yummy. Somebody just left this where it's not gonna get cared for in the dish detergent area. <laughs> Decisions were made. We're gonna go on a rescue mission and put that somewhere it'll get cared for. That's a life too. Garlic stuffed olives, banana peppers, 
sliced jalapeno. By the way, if you like garlic stuffed olives, this brand is the best tasting. We have tried the less expensive brands and this is the best tasting. I have literally looked at this mug so many times, except it is just not big enough. I'm gonna show you guys my coffee when I make it tomorrow. It would never fit in here. I need lots of ounces. Everything here is also very overpriced in terms of non-food. I wanted to get sunflowers from here for the wedding because they have so many here all throughout August and now at the beginning of September except they aren't gonna be here guaranteed the last week of September and florists are really expensive. So what I did, my alterationist woman said to try Costco, so I did. I went online to Costco and turns out I can get 50 sunflowers from Costco for $94 with free shipping. And at the florist, it was gonna be $235 for just my bouquet, which was like five to seven, they said sunflowers. Each bridesmaid was gonna be minimum $75 for just three sunflowers with no baby's breath, nothing added. And I just cannot. A whole bunch here, six or 10 of them is only $8 out in the country it's like five dollars a bunch on the side of the road so i just couldn't so i went costco anyway i'm gonna just drop this gal right here i don't know where it goes but i'm sure it's gonna survive better right there than it would by the dish detergent so the cleanse that we're doing, usually I do one with my clients that's like complete gut overhaul, all of the excess candida, parasites, everything. This one that we're doing for the rest of September, it's just really getting rid of all inflammation, all water retention, any leaky gut. Leaky gut is rampant in people. So we're gonna avoid everything that is inflammatory or causes water retention and anything that has too many crap chemicals in it. So all we're gonna make sure that we're avoiding is wheat, barley, rye, all of that is gluten, so gluten, corn, soy, dairy, alcohol, refined sugar, and all processed foods, which includes processed meats and anything in a package. So basically it's whole foods, all fruits, all veggies, all greens, and any meat that is non-processed and non-pork. Pork tends to carry mycotoxins, which can feed the bad gut bacteria that we don't want. So that is what we're doing. So we just did a grocery haul for that. We intended to go pick up a few things and it ended up being a bazillion things as it does. So we are starting this on Monday. Today it's Saturday. I will obviously share with you meals that I make and snacks that I have and all of that good stuff. But so I let you in on what the heck we're doing and why. We are home. Hey, Bubba. Thank you for coming shopping with us. We'll see you later at dinner time. I will show you what we're making. Happy dinner time. We're having a cleanse friendly meal and it's gonna be lean ground bison. This is a very, very common dinner for us, but it's ground meat today. It's ground bison and salad and sweet potato. To do the sweet potato, I like to use the air fryer. So we put the cubed sweet potato into a container, and then I usually just use some fresh ground pepper, some Himalayan sea salt, which you wanna use. Don't ever use regular table salt. You don't need the iodine from regular table salt. That's from the depression period. You get iodine from a proper diet. You will get plenty of iodine. Regular table salt is terrible. I usually actually like to avoid what my mentor called or the guy who founded the holistic health institute that i went to the four white devils white table salt regular table salt white refined flour refined sugar and pasteurized dairy even louis pasteur who was the godfather of pasteurization said he just admitted that pasteurization means devoid of all enzymes good and bad it's highly inflammatory and it will cause water retention i use avocado oil spray senior pasteur Louis. <laughs> Louis, Senior Louis Pastor. Monsieur is French. Yes. Senior is well, Spanish. Is Mr. Pastor. Himalayan salt. Fresh ground pepper. I also like to put oregano on potatoes. 
Darren on my TikTok was known as Wilson, like from that show Home Improvement, because we never showed his face ever. So y'all got lucky. Really lucky with that one. We're doing YouTube's differently than you. Yeah, YouTube is different. Just want to do casual. So now we're just doing the same thing as we did before. Regular vlogs, day in the life, week in the life with all of the great health, wellness, everything, inspo, and seriously solid education laced throughout. With always a dose of silliness. I'll show you the air fryer when I get there. If you like super fancy air fryers that can do all the things, all of the bells and whistles, it's called the Caloric, I can't remember, the Caloric something thousand super amazing does everything air fryer. We just don't want it to do everything, I don't know. I don't need that kind of super crazy technology, even my car, when I got the Porsche, I was kind of missing my little not complaining, but missing my little Hyundai I once had that had no bells and whistles and it was just like roll the window down and punch the sunroof open kind of shenanigan. Anyway, I'm gonna put the sweet potato into the basket, into the air fryer it goes. It needs such a little bit of oil and it's done within 15 minutes. Highly recommend an air fryer. It is so much healthier for you. You do not wanna use the microwave. I swear against it. The way that microwaves heat the food, the microwaves inside the microwave, hence why it's called that, oscillates the molecules inside the food at such a high rate that it destroys them, denatures them on a molecular level. And therefore, when you eat food from a microwave, your body goes, what the hell is that? And your body sends out an immune response, aka an inflammatory and immune response, to fight off this invading offender. And a lot of people wake up with joint pain in the mornings, especially as they get older, and just inflammation in general. I've been calling the cat for her dinner. If you watch the last video, I bought this cup holder thing for my couch, this like cushiony cup holder thing. She has claimed it as her own, is obsessed with it. Anyway, I've been calling her for dinner now for a long time. Do we see that? She is cup holdered out. Hi, did you know you're missing your dinner for the cup holders? You don't want your dins? You got this one held down. Close up? You mind a close up? You want dinner? Yeah! And I'm gonna feed her and make the meat. Okay, so as mentioned, we are using lean ground bison game meat. I find generally not treated with antibiotics, hormones, all of that gross stuff that you don't wanna be eating. It's also quite lean, like it's really lean, which is nice. It doesn't have a lot of saturated fats. Healthy fats are great. What you don't want in terms of meat is a lot of meaty fat because of saturated fats. It's not the absolute greatest for you. If you're eating healthy animals, that is what matters. Oh, hi. Hey, ma'am what's up is it because I'm talking to a camera you think it's treat time anyways if you're trying to lose weight like fat weight you have to understand that fat stores toxins in animals as well as people so when you're trying to lose weight and by that I mean fat weight you want to make sure that you're eating healthy as healthy as possible because if you're eating toxins like in conventional foods and especially especially in conventional animals conventionally raised and grown animals your body's gonna have nowhere to store those toxins aside from in your liver and predominantly i mean in your liver and in your fat cells so healthy animals only i'll show you the rest of dinner as the meat starts to cook and then i'm gonna season the meat so gordon ramsay I saw say that if you season meat with just salt and pepper, it's great. I used to use paprika, garlic powder, and salt and pepper, and sometimes onion powder. And then I started doing it the way Gordon Ramsay says, and it's delicious. Obviously it would be, right? But here's the rest of what we're doing. We got the salad. I like more texture than just romaine. Iceberg is useless. We got some shrooms, fresh tomato, some cucumber. I couldn't think of the name. <laughs> what is this? Some cucumber. 
some artichoke hearts, sliced jalapeno. I'm not a huge fan of green pepper, but green pepper. Then we have garlic stuffed olives and some sauerkraut, which is excellent, excellent for the gut. This is a really good brand too, by the way. So we will add cubed sweet potato, all of that junk, and the lean ground bison to the bowl, and it is delish. She just got her dinner, but every time I talk to the camera, she thinks I'm live, and when we go live, we do likes for treats. So pop some likes below, and I promise I will give her treats. In terms of cooking pots and pans, stainless steel is great. You do not want to use Teflon. Teflon puts so many chemicals into your food, it's nuts. But Teflon can damage your fertility, it can damage your hormone balance, AKA fertility, and it's just absolutely terrible for you. Aluminum, terrible. So I like to use ceramic. I love also Gotham Steel is a good brand. This is ceramic. Cast iron, awesome. Cast iron is wonderful too for things like Yorkshire pudding. Anyway, don't use Teflon or other chemically laden pots and pans. There's a company actually, I'm not affiliated with them at all. I'm not affiliated with any company. I don't get any kickbacks. I don't deal with any products. Some products I enjoy myself, which I share, but if I ever share anything with you, know it's always unbiased. There's a cookware company called Salad Master. I think it's atrociously expensive from what I can remember, but it is top-notch cookware. Anyway, all these random blurbs that can help you. This is said salad. So I'm going to use either... OG Nooch. These are very healthy options, by the way, for dressing. Super healthy. This tahini one. This one is my absolute favorite favorite. Anything from Primal Kitchen is ridiculously healthy. And they make ketchups and different kinds of sauces. So good. So I think I'm going to use some of that. Their buffalo sauce is good. And I think I'll use some of this. And so concludes dinner time. We are off. I got my mom tickets to see a Beatles cover band called the Liverpool Four. I obviously can't take the camera, but right now I'm just gonna figure out what to wear and I doubt that I will be vlogging again tonight. So I will see you tomorrow where I'm gonna show you my favorite coffee, how I make it, the collagen that I use, and also my favorite morning smoothie slash protein shake. But anywho, I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. So this is the outfit for the Beatles thing. I am not doing my hair today. I refuse. So we're just gonna, it's a scrunchy situation. But yeah, I was so excited to get these boots. They were a gift and uh, they are terribly uncomfortable for walking anywhere. But since we're just gonna go sit and watch this Beatles situation, which I wish I could record, but obviously you can't record any of the show, so I can't do that. But anyway, I'm not doing the makeup or the hair. We're just not feeling it today. We're going to Toronto tomorrow to see Kaleo. It's a busy weekend. So tonight, very chill, just for my mama. See ya in the morning.